for this segment, I want you guys to connect your suspension kit to a high anchor point. I want you guys to watch me. Okay guys, blending two exercises into one. Watch me. So I'm gonna start off, from here I'm gonna go into a front delt raise all the way up, hit that straight line, come back out, and I'm gonna change it into a twist row. One side only. And then front delt rows um, again. And other side. Okay, so we're hitting a front delt raise in between each one of those twist rows. Your turn. Okay guys, I'm gonna work in with you guys. Let's get into it. So you can see I've got my feet together. I'm keeping a nice straight line from my ankle all the way to my shoulders the whole time. So I'm not allowing my butt to drop out at all. Keeping that form. Now as I pull through, I shift my weight to the ball of my foot right here. And work that twist, get the obliques involved as well. We've got about 10 seconds left, guys. Let's keep going. Full range movement. And you can see my arms are staying soft, straight on its way up. Time. Okay guys, we're rolling two exercises into one for this one. Now, have a look. What I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna roll a reverse fly into a chest hug, just like this. Now, I wanna make sure I'm keeping my arms as soft straight as possible throughout the movement until I wrap that hug around, just like that. Okay, let's get you guys to have a go at this one now. Okay, let's get into it, guys. So you guys can see Adriana's alternating between right and left as far as which arm is on top when you do your um, chest hugs. Let's keep working through those. You can also see she's not reaching at all. She's keeping a nice straight line from her ankle to her shoulder throughout the entire set. So you guys wanna make sure you're doing the same thing. Um, one thing I want you guys to watch out for is make sure as you start to tire, don't break your form as far as your wrist is concerned. You've got to keep your wrist nice and straight. So you can see Adriana's doing it perfectly. So squeezing right out on those reverse flies and giving yourself a nice big hug on the way in, just like that. Let's go for one last repetition. And time. Okay guys, let's get set. We're gonna repeat the last two exercises. Okay guys, I'm gonna work in with you guys. Let's get into it. So you can see I've got my feet together. I'm keeping a nice straight line from my ankle all the way to my shoulders the whole time, so I'm not allowing my butt to drop out at all. Keeping that form. Now, as I pull through, I shift my weight to the ball of my foot right here. And work that twist, get the obliques involved as well. We've got about 10 seconds left, guys. Let's keep going. Full range movement. And you can see my arms are staying soft, straight, on its way up. Time. Okay, let's get into it, guys. So you guys can see Adriana's alternating between right and left as far as which arm is on top when you do your um, chest hugs. Let's keep working through those. 
You can also see she's not breaching at all. She's keeping a nice straight line from her ankle to her shoulder throughout the entire set. So you guys want to make sure you're doing the same thing. Um, one thing I want you guys to watch out for is make sure as you start to tire, don't break your form as far as your wrist is concerned. You've got to keep your wrist nice and straight. So you can see Adriana's doing it perfectly. So squeezing right out on those reverse flies and giving yourself a nice big hug on the way in, just like that. Let's go for one last repetition. And time. Okay, a two in one exercise for this one, guys. So what we'll do from here, I'm gonna go into a T row. Once I hit my T row, I'm gonna go into a W rotator. Now I'm gonna finish my move, and then I'm gonna finish off my T row. So it looks like this. Your turn to try it. Okay guys, let's get into it. So you guys can see as Adriana's hitting that T-row, her elbows are nice and high. So it's a nice line straight across. And then what we've got is we've got 90 degrees of movement as far as the rotation is concerned. So just here and finishing off resting at that point before you hit your next rep. Okay, so let's keep concentrating on that rotation. Perfect, right there, and keep them going. Now, you want to make sure you're not breaching your body either, so let's try and keep a nice straight line so you've got your core active the whole time. We've got two reps left. One last one. And have a rest. Okay guys, for this exercise, we're gonna work a single arm row and a squat at the same time. I'm gonna show you how. So I'm gonna set up right here, hand on my hip, I'm gonna drop into my squat and row with one arm. Just like that. And then what I'll do after 45 seconds is I'm gonna switch hands, I'm gonna keep it going. Your turn. Okay guys, let's get into one of those sides. Let's go. So Marilyn starting with her right, and you can see the left hand's just on the hip. Nice and comfortable. So good fluid motion. You can see Marilyn's dropping down into that 90 degree line and pulling straight back into that row. So one nice fluid motion. Okay, these are looking really good. Feet are parallel and their shoulder width, so make sure you guys are doing the same thing with this one. And I'm gonna challenge you a little bit. I'm gonna get you to pull slightly beneath your chest. This is gonna get a little bit more work out of your lats. There you go, perfect. Let's keep them going. Now give me one more rep, I'm gonna change sides. Excellent, change your hands now and let's keep going, go. So one side's gonna feel slightly more coordinated than the other. But that's okay, we're gonna train both sides equally and we're gonna aim for the same level of strength, the same level of coordination on both sides. Let's keep them going. Now, let's keep that nice and steady. We wanna make sure we don't have a jumping effect. I want a nice, smooth motion on the repetition. Good, give me three more reps and we're done. One last one. Excellent. Time. Okay, guys, let's get set. We're going to repeat the last two exercises. Okay, guys, let's get into it. So you guys can see as Adriana's hitting that T-row, her elbows are nice and high, so it's a nice line straight across. 
And then what we've got is we've got 90 degrees of movement as far as the rotation is concerned. So just here and finishing off resting at that point before you hit your next rep. Okay, so let's keep concentrating on that rotation. Perfect, right there and keep them going. Now, you want to make sure you're not breaching your body either, so let's try and keep a nice straight line so you've got your core active the whole time. We've got two reps left. One last one. And have a rest. Okay guys, let's get into one of those sides. Let's go. So Marilyn's starting with her right, and you can see the left hand's just on the hip. Nice and comfortable. So good fluid motion. You can see Marilyn's dropping down into that 90 degree line and pulling straight back into that row. So one nice fluid motion. Okay, these are looking really good. Feet are parallel and their shoulder width, so make sure you guys are doing the same thing with this one. And I'm gonna challenge you a little bit. I'm gonna get you to pull slightly beneath your chest. This is gonna get a little bit more work out of your lats. There you go, perfect. Let's keep them going. Now give me one more rep, I'm gonna change sides. Excellent, change your hands now and let's keep going, go. So one side's gonna feel slightly more coordinated than the other. But that's okay, we're going to train both sides equally and we're going to aim for the same level of strength, the same level of coordination on both sides. Let's keep them going. Now, let's keep that nice and steady. We want to make sure we don't have a jumping effect. I want a nice, smooth motion on the repetition. Good, give me three more reps and we're done. One last one. Excellent. Time. Okay, for this exercise, I'm going to grab my suspension kit and I'm going to tangle these handles together. Watch, I want to make one sturdy, strong handle. Just like that. I'm going to use one of these. Now, what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to go into a single arm twist row. So I'm going to start right there, straight line. I'm going to push through. I'm going to touch the red tape. So out and pushing right through. Now to get closer to the tape, you really have to drive this home. We're gonna do one side first, and then we're gonna switch over, and we're gonna do the other side. Okay, I'm gonna demonstrate one rep for you guys. From here, driving straight through, right there. Your turn to try it. I'm gonna work those twist rows with you guys. So straight out, and let's go. So you can see I'm hitting that same line every time. Now the mistake you can make with this one is not completing the row. If I don't complete the row, it's gonna finish here. That's no good. I wanna make sure I'm driving right through. Now, if it starts to get difficult, you can step back a little bit. And you can work from there. And I'm gonna change arms. Hit the other side now, go. About halfway on this one. Last 10 seconds. And that's your single arm twisted row. Have a rest. Okay, for this next exercise, I'm using my suspension kit. You can see I've hooked up my ankles and I'm just lying down with my hands by my side. Stiff leg hip raise, so I'm gonna drop down, touch, and lift. Drop down, touch, 
and lift. You can see as I'm lifting, I'm hitting that straight line, dropping down, touching my tailbone and lifting again. I'm going to get you guys to try this one for yourselves. Drop straight down and lift straight back up. Perfect. Keep the feet and knees together still. Down and lift. Down, touch and lift. So as you're touching the ground, I want you to use that as a split second rest and then tense everything up, lift it right up, drop back down again. We've got about 20 seconds left on this exercise. You can see Marilyn's hands are by her side. She's just using it for a little bit of stability. Good, you use your breathing. Last one. And have a rest, excellent job. Okay guys, let's get set. We're gonna repeat the last two exercises. I'm gonna work those twist rows with you guys. So, straight out and Let's go. So you can see I'm hitting that same line every time. Now the mistake you can make with this one is not completing the row. If I don't complete the row, it's going to finish here. That's no good. I want to make sure I'm driving right through. Now, if it starts to get difficult, you can step back a little bit. You can work from there. And I'm going to change arms. Hit the other side now. Go. about halfway on this one. Last 10 seconds. And that's your single arm twisted row. Have a rest. Drop straight down and lift straight back up, perfect. Keep the feet and knees together still. Down and lift. Down, touch and lift. So as you're touching the ground, I want you to use that as a split second rest and then tense everything up, lift it right up, drop back down again. We've got about 20 seconds left on this exercise. You can see Marilyn's hands are by her side. She's just using it for a little bit of stability. Use your breathing. Last one. And have a rest. Excellent job. Well done, you guys. You got through your workout for today. Let's turn our attention to our in-house instructor for three minutes of stretching. Big news, guys. My training system has finally launched and it's available for you guys to purchase. My bow training system is seven times more versatile than any suspension trainer on the market, and it comes with virtual classes free of charge. If you'd like to take advantage of the introductory offer, which is available for a very limited time, then click the link below. I hope you guys love the bow as much as I do.